Hey guys, uh, figured I'd make another little update video. I haven't got a whole lot done because uh, I just had a kid a uh, week and a half ago and he was as healthy as can be. Everything went smooth, so luckily I don't have a whole lot to worry about there. So decided I'd come out today since it is nice. 75 degrees on uh, December 3rd, which I thought was kind of strange, but that's Oklahoma weather for you. Um, I went to the salvage yard the other day and found a tailgate and a fender that came off, I think it was a 03 or 04 edge, but the tailgate is in way better shape compared to this one. This one's all beat to hell. I picked that thing up for 40 or 50 bucks or something like that. I can't remember what I paid for it, but it was cheap. I got the fender, which I just kind of got it laying under there for now to replace this because this one's all beat to shit um, I did do a little bit more on the interior I cleaned it up really good I put the gauge cluster in I put a bunch of pieces I found off different rangers on the dash just I don't know I thought it looked kind of cool like that with the tan backing so I just kind of left it for now until I actually find a decent dash to put in there because for some reason, every time I go to the salvage yard, all the dashes are beat to hell and it's impossible to find a decent one. So we're just going to leave this like this for now. But this is what it looks like all together, which some might think it looks kind of goofy, but I don't know. It's different. Um, I did vacuum it and clean it. I put some uh, shine on the interior just to kind of make it look a little bit better, which it does. But uh, I'll show you guys what I've been working on. I've been working on this piece of crap. This is the Donor Explorer I got, which I never did show anybody in my previous videos, but this is it. I have the entire front end tore off of it just to make it easier. I got most of the stuff off the motor. Um, I did pull the drive shaft today. I got the uh, blower motor box with the uh, accumulator in it and the intake and all that crap down there. Um, I'm probably going to pull out the uh, rear end because I looked at the axle tag today finally, which I don't know why I never really looked at it before, but I lucked out because I got one with 373s, has a limited slip, it's got the disc brakes, and yes, it's the 88. So I'm going to stick this thing in the Ranger, and another benefit to doing the Explorer 88 axle swap is the leaf springs sit on the bottom of the axle so whenever I stick this thing in the Ranger and mount it up the uh, this axle the way it's set up will actually lower the truck uh, probably three or four inches so I was wanting to do that anyway so that'll just save me a bunch of money in the long run by sticking this axle in the Ranger because I won't have to buy a flip kit for the rear to lower it um, I will have to get shock relocation mounts because the Ranger shocks are in different locations, so I'll have to figure out how I'm going to do that, which I'm sure it won't really be an issue. But other than that, that's really all I've done lately. Just been trying to get all this crap out to uh, stick in the Ranger and uh, hopefully have this thing going before too long. So, uh, yeah, just another little short video. To update you guys I haven't really got to do a whole lot but I know you guys have been waiting for something so here you go um, thanks for watching uh, like subscribe comment and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on some more videos as soon as I get some more stuff done to this truck but uh, I appreciate it guys thanks